with HWP Core TV. You know how there are a lot of shows that take place in cars these days? I mean, James Corden has one, Jerry Seinfeld has one, and they're great shows. So why can't I do something like that today to make my ride to work a little more fun? I have this friend who's a Christian music artist and a Grammy Award winner, and she's just an all-around great person, and I'm going to pick her up, and I'm going to let her ride with me to work today, and we're going to chat, and we're going to sing a little bit, and we don't have to worry about poor audio because we're going to use the Shure MV88+, Plus, and we don't have to worry about both of us fitting in the shot because... I'm using something called Groupie by Evoco, which gives me a wide angle lens. So, and since she's a musician, I mean, every rock star needs a Groupie, right? So we don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna go pick her up and we're gonna film our ride to work because why not? So I'm so excited. Today's gonna be a good day. I can just feel it. I see her, there she is. All right, hey, come get in the car. Let's unlock it for her. Much for What's joining up? me. I might have one in a minute. I gotta like, okay. I don't know about eating and driving. Okay. The um, would you mind if we listen to some music? I would love to listen to some music. Okay, I don't know what I have queued up here, but um, let me just see. Oh, hey! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this, would you say that this was, yeah, buckle your seatbelt. Um, is this, would you say this is like your first big hit? If big hit means a song that someone other than my mom heard of mine, uh, then yeah, I guess so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because you had a few hits with um, the band that you were in, right, Siler's Ball? Oh, uh, I don't know if hits would really have been the right word for that. Uh, but yeah, this is the first song that that kind of got me involved in the, I guess the music music scene. Okay, but Grace, Grace was. Oh yeah, we we got some big. radio radio play with Grace. Okay, that was good. That's really that's that's a big deal. I heard this story about um, Chris Martin from Coldplay mm -hmm. that he was in the middle of dinner one night and all of a sudden he was like, oh my gosh, I have to go to my piano. I have to write a song, and he wrote Paradise in five serious? minutes or something yeah so what is the songwriting process like for you because hmm. I mean is it that quick where you're just all of a sudden like I have to write a song or do you have to mull it over well there have been moments where I've had an idea that I think man if I don't write this down it's gonna be gone you know yeah. the little iPhone you know memo thing right uh you know usually it is when you're when you're doing something yeah. Like whether it's, you know, reading a book and it makes you think of something or, or maybe have a conversation with someone and something they say prompts you to think about uh, how to think of an idea in a different way. And you think, oh, there could be something to that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Uh, I mean, obviously you've written some good songs because you've been to the Grammy. I mean, you won a Grammy, right? Well, well thank you, bud. Was, <laughs> was that for a song or was that um, for the album? That was, was for, for song. Blessings. Yeah, right? it was a song called Blessings and... Uh, yeah, that was kind of cool. We we got to go to the Grammys, and uh, I remember I was what like six months pregnant. <laughs> oh, so, I forgot yeah, you were pregnant. I brought a, a foot long sub subway sandwich. I stuffed it in my purse going to the Grammys, and then I got there, and they're like, "Oh, they have food." This is I didn't need to bring uh, a foot long sub in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you always have to be prepared. <laughs> I really Especially was a pregnant woman, you know, yes. like you're hungry. You they also it. had uh, ladies in bikinis with feather headdresses dancing on tables at the Grammys. Wow. They don't show that in the live, uh, huh. in the TV version, but they definitely had that at the after party. Uh, wow. It was crazy. So, wow. The things that we viewers never see. Yes. I was so shocked when I won the Grammy. There was no thought in my mind about what to say like me winning a Grammy was such a preposterous idea that I I'm pretty sure I got up there he handed it to me and I was like thanks for this yeah Grammy this thing <laughs> I never thought I'm I'd pretty sure that's kind of how 
how it went down. Um, now, in terms of artists that you actually got to see at the Grammy? Yes. Uh, you so saw Adele, many. right? I did. Okay, how was she? She's, oh, she did was you ever get to meet her or no? I did, no, I did not get to meet her. Okay, because she just seems like she'd be cool. Uh, and I know she's got a phenomenal voice. Yeah, she was fantastic. Um, yeah. Well, I think I have like a song or something of hers. I mean, I... I don't know. I just think she's incredible. She is pretty great. Yeah. Um, oh. Hello. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even sing along with her. I know. Because she's so good that it's like, I can't put yeah. my voice on top of that. Oh, yeah. And this song, she's like talking to herself, but her like her younger self. It's interesting. But she's not really that old. No, I'd say. So maybe her like. Because she names her, her albums after her age, right? So there's like 21. Oh, and, I didn't know and that. Then, I she's don't talking know. to like her three year old self. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I mean, I don't know. Who I, I, knows? I, I don't know. Um, who else did you get to hear at the Grammys? Um, golly, uh, Katy Perry, uh, Chris Martin. Um, Bonnie Raitt. Oh, cool. Um, it wasn't Bruce Hornsby, the other one that I always think of. The boss. Bruce Springsteen. Oh, Springsteen, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah it was fantastic. It yeah. was by, by far the best concert I've ever been to. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, the sun. I must have gone a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't so know the good. words to right. the rest of it. My three-year-old self. <laughs> My three-year-old self. Don't pee your pants so much. Um, what's the, <laughs> what would be the favorite song that you've ever written? Favorite song I've written? Golly. Um, favorite song I've ever written? Uh, I wrote a song <sighs> called He Will Not Let Go. It's just a song about, um, you know, one of the things that I write about a lot is my faith and how in a lot of the stuff that I've, that I've gone through in life, you know, whether things work out like you, but most people I talk to, their lives haven't worked out exactly like they planned. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so this is a song about believing that, uh, that God still is in control even, even when life is tough. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Uh, you've done some great live concerts and obviously you've done some great work in the studio and so you know that regardless of the setting or the venue sound equipment is incredibly important oh, gracious do you have any Absolutely. particular equipment or brands of equipment that it's like your go-to yes and usually we we uh so we we get the opportunity you know to send a writer in and say hey we really would love for y'all to have this type of equipment. Um, what what I use a lot, I use a lot of Sure um, products. I have a Sure microphone and ears that, because uh, it's unbelievably important to have reliable in ears. Yeah. And I've gone through a few different companies, and Sure Sure really has been the the company that that we felt has been because we <laughs> when you travel as much as I do, uh, and you're you just have to have something that you know is going to work when you get up there. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's uh that's hugely important. And you've gotten to do some compilation albums yes. with some cool people yeah, as well too, right? People. Like Natalie Grant? Yes, you Natalie Grant. Yeah. She is actually a sure artist. Oh, really? Yeah. I have a funny story about uh Natalie. I was at a Natalie yeah, Grant. Let's do it. We actually, were doing, I should probably drive a little. Yeah, you can drive a little bit. I was doing an event with her and so I travel with so Natalie has twins as well so I have twin boys I have a six-year-old twin four-year-olds and a one-year-old which is uh makes being on the road a little crazy we we trash hotel rooms but very different than like <laughs> the way that most that, bands like do Aerosmith did. that Aerosmith does <laughs> Metallica yeah. kind of yeah thing. so uh we were at this event and one of the twins I think he was like one or two years old one of the twins uh, was sick, had a, stu- a stomach bug, and he kept on throwing up. He kept throwing up on me like every hour. So I'm, I'm trying. I'm about to go on stage. I'm holding him for the very, <laughs> and people are. Some I'm, we're getting our pictures taken with some people, and uh, I remember holding him. And someone, uh, I'm, I'm getting my picture made. Hey, I knew that person. Oh, did you really? Yeah. 
Sorry, carry um, on. No, so, so the baby just throws up all over me, all down my pants, all in my shoes, and I literally am about to walk on stage. So I walk over and I see this box of merchandise with Natalie Grant shirts in it. And I literally behind stage, take off my shirt, put on a Natalie Grant shirt <laughs> and walk on stage still with puke in my shoe. Um, yeah. So, uh, oh, memories. it's amazing how Natalie hasn't wanted to do any events with me since then. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, uh, it probably is not related at all. I don't think it's anything personal. Probably not. Um, but yeah, that's intense. Yeah. It's a good thing you got, it's pretty intense. She has, uh, shirts. I know. It might've been worse if, she, if the baby had puked on the Natalie Grant shirt. That like, is. What kind of a message does that I send? I know. I don't yeah. Know. I don't know. That's pretty, it is pretty crazy. Uh, that compilation album that you did, who else was on that with you? Oh, uh, actually, Mac Powell was the one that kind of put the whole thing together. Uh, okay. Mac Powell from Third Day, and I'm trying to think of who all was part of it. I think uh, Aaron Schust, um, Brian Luttrell from Backstreet Boys. No way! Yeah, he sang a song on it as well. And Backstreet's um, back. Amy Grant sang on it, Matt Marr, just a bunch of other singers. Bunch of good folks. Yeah. Uh, that's fun to be part of it. Yeah. Uh, have you had, I mean, I guess that is a kind of crazy, like, your puking story was a, was a good one, but have you had any onstage moments where you look out and you either see something crazy or something <sighs> funny mm. happens? I did have an event I was doing with, it was a big festival. And a lot of the bands in Christian music are, like, dude bands. So, a lot of times, <laughs> there's not a lot of chicks in, in, in Christian music doing, like, they'll bring in these, these uh, big Christian bands. Anyway, so, the reason I, I say that is they have these enormous fans. Um, at, it was an outdoor festival. Enormous fans on the bottom of the stage clearly not thinking about if any females were going to come on stage with dresses or skirts oh, on. Oh, no. And I'm not a huge, like, skirt-wearing person, and nor have I worn one since then because of <laughs> what happened. But literally, so. they introduced, it's Laura's story! And I walk up, and literally my skirt just whoosh. Oh, my God. It was like Marilyn Monroe, just oh, like, whoo! No! Uh, and I was like, oh! And at that point in time, you're thinking... What do I do? First of all, I've just flashed thousands of people. So there's that. How do you really recover from that? Uh, but I'm, I'm thinking, what do I do now? What do I do now? What did you do? What do I do? Well, I did what any other person would do. I turned around and asked the stage manager for some gaff tape. Okay. And I taped my skirt to my legs. And I in front played. of everybody? Yes. Pardon me, guys. <laughs> and so I... <laughs> I played Jerry rigged my skirt. The rest of the event with my <laughs> skirt uh, gaff taped to my legs. That's amazing. Yeah. It was, um, I hope nobody had a video. I hope not either. You know, it's strange. They've never had me back either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was not your fault. <laughs> Thank you. That seems like an intense That's oversight. That's what I told them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But they're just not thinking about the women. They don't invite me to family-friendly events anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really a shame. I they're know. really missing out. Um, I mean, you know who else has seen some crazy... Well, I always think... Okay, so I, I, as a former teacher... Mm-hmm. I used to, it, I wouldn't exactly call my students an audience, Yes. but they kind of were. And it's like when there's, when, when people are sitting like out in a crowd, they don't realize that you can see them. Yes. They don't, it doesn't dawn on them. So I often would just look at my students and say, I can see you, you know, with like your <laughs> finger half up your nose yes. or poking your neighbor with a pencil. Like yes. I can see all of that. Yes. So I, I always think about, you know, musicians and people like you who are, I'm sure have seen some crazy things out in the audience and I know who's seen I mean you know those like Broadway musicians oh yeah like the people who are in the musicals or whatever have seen some crazy stuff go down you know they have uh, do you have a favorite Broadway musical my favorite Broadway it's either Phantom but it's probably Les Mis probably yeah. Les Mis I actually got my husband uh, boyfriend at the time 
took me to Les Mis when the night we got engaged. <gasps> so yeah. Oh, so memories. It's very much a like, where was it? Was Jean that? Valjean oh, moment? It was that in Atlanta. It was in Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville. Yeah. All right. I think I've got a. Let's see if I have a, a Les Mis song. Good. Here it's a. Uh, I mean, it's just a pretty incredible, a pretty incredible musical. I saw it, it uh, in London. No Which way. I will say was pretty phenomenal. Oh, I bet that was. Yeah. So when I was in fifth grade, mm -hmm. I played the child Cosette in a no. yeah in a production, and uh, so you I was can see that. Well, I was I was familiar. There was a castle on the... That one. That one. Oh. Uh, no. Yeah. So okay. Now I am very jealous. Uh, well, I w it wasn't like it was a Broadway. I, but that's it, still but pretty amazing. I mean, it was kind of cool, but uh, so I was familiar with the musical from a young age. But and but I always thought Eponine was so cool because oh, yeah, she yeah. was like tough fighter girl, you know, made ultimate sacrifice. <gasps> there it is. But okay, speaking of Eponine, okay, listen to the words of her part coming up. Just listen to this music. I know it's pretty sad. One more day with you, not care who's going to be with you. What a wonderful I might have known. I never I will be true. But he never saw me. Yeah, just like a man, never saw her there. Yeah, but then, you know, uh, what, you know what I want to say to her is like, he is not into you. You are like, <laughs> Wasting, <laughs> he's into Cosette and like you're clearly wasting, like he like, marries her. Yeah, and they're singing the duet. You're singing the solo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're just hmm. off to the side, like pining away for a guy who cares nothing for you. And listen, listen, heartbreaking for you, girl. It's no fun. Everybody's been there yeah, at some point. But, but you, you have got it. to move. You know there are a lot of other very eligible for real? men in and that they're army. French. Get right. a grip, Eponine. I mean, I'm like, it didn't dawn on me until <sighs> I was older. Like, oh my gosh, this girl is, she's a little wussy. As tough as she appears, I'm like, girlfriend needs to move on. I know. I, I mean, know. for real. Only she had you as her life coach. I... <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that I would be a good life coach for her, but yeah. I am saying I'd be a good life but coach. But you are a little biased because you were Cosette. Uh, true, true. And Cosette, so of course the adult Cosette married. was always a little irritating to me. Oh, yeah. But she was so prissy. she's so way too prissy. And yeah. I'm like, get dirty, climb a tree, I don't I know. know, something. But, but Eponine does die. She gets shot. Yeah. Because she jumps in front of him, doesn't he? She does, yeah. She, she jumps in front of Marius as he's about to get shot. And you're like, still. Like, he's not still. in <laughs> is that is that worth it? Yeah. I don't know. He's just really not that into you. That was really you. awesome and of you to give your life to him. You're now dead. He's still not into you. Right. Now he'll sing a song over you <laughs> as you're dying. And now he's going to go get married to that <laughs> other girl. And they're going to live happily ever after. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, oh gosh. It's really sad. It's really sad. And um, <sighs> yeah. But anyway, it's still a great musical. Love it. So good. Absolutely. Um, what's up next for you? Are you working on a new album? Or what do you, well, what do you have? Next, I'm going to eat some chips. Finish consuming this bag of chips. Um, I just finished with a book called I Give Up. Cool. Uh, the Secrets of uh, Learning the joy, the Joys. I can't even remember this. <laughs> that limit. It's the book you wrote. I'm going to have to start. That you don't remember the name of. Yes. It's a book called I Give Up. Um, something about the joy of a surrendered life. Wow. And uh, some new songs coming out about surrender as well. And just basically how... Uh, how easily I can get stressed out over the things that I cannot control um, and just trying to learn to be a little more open-handed with my life and, yeah. and really enjoy um, even the things that I can't be in control of. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Some heavy topics though. I know. What, <laughs> but good. Really important. Good. When does that uh, book come out or do you know? Has it, I think it all comes date? out this summer. All so it's like, summer. like okay. uh, July 2019 for the book and the EP. Oh, and cool. there's a Bible study curriculum that we just finished the DVD series for. So a lot of fun stuff. That's uh, that's really cool. Yeah. That's exciting. Well, I, I appreciate you joining me today. Thank you so much. It's Anytime. just made, you know, and here we are at work and it's made the ride so much more fun. Yay! Hey, if you are interested in learning more about the MV88 Plus, go to shore.com. If you want to know more about Groupie, my little wide angle lens here, mm -hmm. go to Evoco, E-V-O-K-O, 
hwpcore.se. And most importantly, you really need to subscribe to HWP Core TV. It's all that my family and I watch. You should check it out. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> See you later.